there's been quite a bit of activity in the AI on our project. Let's go ahead and get into what's new. Something that escaped my attention before, apparently it's been around a while, I just saw one of the videos pop into my YouTube role, but Ayana has a YouTube site. Not a lot of views on the videos that they drop, but still very interesting. Kind of like commercial-esque sort of videos, very short marketing, but uh, this one here is a four minute video that was a compilation of the ribbon cutting in Apex uh, back in February. It was kind of an interesting video. I'll link it down below in the description. And if you're not subscribed to Ayana on LinkedIn, X, and YouTube, and you're curious on keeping up to date in this project, that's one good way of doing so. Additionally, Out of Spec Studios, Kyle Connor specifically, did two videos in the past week on Ayana. And you might say, well, Ayana is sponsoring his channel, so of course he's going to do uh, videos supporting them. But I don't think if Ayana wasn't um, sponsoring the Out of Spec channel that he wouldn't have done these videos anyway. I mean, the videos were very photogenic, and they were right along the route he was taking from Fort Collins, Kansas into North Carolina. And uh, these stations are definitely of note, a bunch of Alpitronic hyperchargers getting dropped into the middle of the country along I-70 with canopies at uh, very convenient stops immediately off the interstate is definitely something worth making videos about. And he went across a string of them on Interstate 70 as in the first video, which is this one down here. In the second video, he interviewed uh, Ricardo Stamati uh, at the um, at the uh, Gardner, North Carolina Rechargery, taking us all the way through all the technology. It was a very interesting video. It was, um, it was terrific to see Kyle's perspective on the station and also uh, Ricardo's uh, commentary as they were walking the site both inside and out. So I'll link those videos down below in the description as well. They released into LinkedIn, it wasn't actually a pressure release, but they released into LinkedIn that they are now able to support plug and play with Hyundai and General Motors owners. So if you have either of those two brands of electric vehicles, you can charge at IANA station. And Tyler from The Average EV did a video on how to create that integration in a General Motors car uh, very well. So I will link his video down below in the description as well. <clears throat> Again, the map that they released with the last press release showing um, general areas that they're going to be working on. And specifically what we're seeing is fill in here in the Los Angeles area. There's lots of pips popping in there and um, here in the Dallas area. And Florida also is starting to get pretty crowded. So all that is good news. Let's get into what's new. <clears throat> we got two up here in the San Francisco area. One is... Um, what is it called? Pacifica, California and San Francisco proper. Let's go with the two that are open also. That would be Goodland, Kansas and Valdosta, Georgia. I took this picture of PlugShare last night where the wrench icon was still in Valdosta this morning. It's flipped over to being a normal pip. It is officially open. And three in the Los Angeles area have been spotted through permitting. Those are San, Bernard San Bernardino, California. Westminster, California, and what is the other one? Um, Oceanside, California. That would be this one down here, a little bit closer to San Diego. Las Vegas, Nevada is now spotted through permitting as well. Waco, Texas, spotted through permitting. Pensacola, Florida, spotted through permitting. Brunswick, Georgia, spotted through permitting. And up here in Connecticut, uh, this, too, I think is a spotted in uh, permitting location at Simsbury, Connecticut. This is what it looks like in table form. I'll pause here for a minute. These are the locations that are open in completeness. You can see most of them are next to interstates. Most of them have canopies. A couple of the stragglers are apparently going to be retrofitted with canopies at a later time, sometime before the end of the year, is the word that we're hearing through the grapevine. These are locations where construction has started. 
I think there was a new one um, spotted. This Gilman, Illinois, there's actually no plug share pictures yet, but we're assuming because Ayana put it into a press release that that's one of the sites that is coming soon. So we're assuming that one is under construction. Lots of things going on in uh, California. Uh, Vista, California is assumed to be under construction. And we're guessing some of those other ones that have been spotted through permitting are actually under construction. We just don't have any updated pictures yet. Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, Plano, Texas. Okay. Now, this list is starting to get increasingly crowded because Alejandro EV66 is doing a superb job of spotting through permitting uh, locations. Now, the way this works, according to the Ricardo Stamati interview by Kyle Connor, is they create what's called a funnel of locations. And then locations that, according to him, hit the lottery for being able to get power quickly get built. But they're trying to get 100 states stations open by the end of the year. That means 100 stations need to get electricity delivered and built before the end of the year. And according to him, the way to do that is create a large funnel. And so what they're doing is just with a very large spread going through and um, contracting sites and beginning the process. Now, the thought is that a certain number of those will be successfully completed by the end of the year, but you can't just hope for 100 sites will be completed. So what they do is they double, triple, and quadruple up on the num number of sites that they're targeting. And of those, uh, the lottery winners are the ones that will actually open. So that's the strategy, and that's why we're seeing so many permits surface. Now, this is obviously not a complete list. Uh, we don't have insight into IANA's uh, operations. But this is what we're seeing through uh, public permitting documents that are able to be spotted. And very likely, Alejandro EV66 will continue to find more and more of these as time goes on, and this list will grow. Eventually, I'll have to break it up. But this is what we're looking at for the funnel. Um, None of these sites have started construction yet, so keep that in mind. These are just permits, and it very well may be that some of these locations don't actually get built ever. Um, but still, at least from what I have seen, it's far in excess of 95% of the sites that get permitted with IANA actually move to build. Various counts we now have if every single stall we know, know about it through permitting under construction and open actually complete, we will have 675 stalls. Now the goal is 1,000 stalls by the end of the year. So we don't know of enough locations in order to fulfill that goal, but we're getting closer. Last time it was in the 500s and now we're in the high 600s. And over here in the state count, one thing to note is California has spiked up into second place. I would call that second because Florida and Texas are tied for first, but eight locations in California. This is really remarkable. You would have thunk that California would be as a straggler, which is what we saw in the Pilot Flying J project, but no, California is very quickly becoming number one. All they need is another two locations and for uh, Texas and Florida to stay put for a week or so, and California will be in first place. So really encouraging to see IANA target the state of California uh, so heavily. And uh, most of these are spotted through permitting. A couple of them are actually, though, overtly mentioned in press release, like Vista, California. And they also mention a, a large location coming to California, Beacon Site. We may know what that is, but... Um, and actually, let me go back to call that out real quick. It would be... Um, which one is it? I think it's the Westminster, California is being cited as a uh, in the documents as a flagship location but if you look it's 24 stalls uh so i'm thinking this will be a beacon and le very likely the beacon that is being mentioned in the press release westminster california so that's the update we have for this time. I'm going to roll the slide deck of all the canopy locations that are open. We don't know of any additional canopy sites spotted under construction yet. And then all the canopy locations that are known through public permitting documents. Thanks for watching.